Hey guys, in history, we are continuing to learn about some important uh, leaders in the Reformation. Last week was Martin Luther, and he's probably the most well-known uh, of the Reformers. But someone else that was a very important was a man named Ulrich Zwingli, which is kind of fun to say. Uh, he lived in Switzerland. He was um, a big part of the, um, the Swiss Reformation. So this week, we're going to be learning a little bit about Ulrich Zwingli and the Anabaptists. So um, the card is on, the, um, on Schoology, and this is the front of it. This is what I'll be reading. Uh, this occurred in 1525. So remember, Martin Luther um, kind of sparked the beginning of the Reformation in 1517. Um, so very similar timeline. The Swiss Reformation is associated with Ulrich Zwingli. He lived from 1484 to 1531. In 1519, he became pastor of the church in Zurich. He arrived at his ideas of reformation apart from Luther, although they were fighting the Roman Catholic Church during the same time. So he was not actually influenced by Martin Luther. He uh, arrived at these conclusions of, of wanting to reform the church on his own. Because remember, more and more people had access to the Bible. More and more people were starting to study things on their own. And some people were starting to come to these conclusions apart from even people telling them about it. Now, of course, these leaders were very important because they brought to light so many of these things that were going wrong in the Catholic Church. So he and Martin Luther uh, were fighting against the Roman Catholic Church at the same time. Zwingli and Luther were unable to agree on aspects of the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. They had disagreements on um, some of the uh, meaning behind the Lord's Supper, and they never came to an agreement on it. The Swiss Confederation was made up of 13 cantons, which were political districts. Think of it maybe like states or cities or counties. A civil war broke out when the southern cantons wanted to remain Roman Catholic, and the northern cantons wanted to become Protestant. Protestant means not Catholic. They were protesting the Catholic Church. Zwingli died in 1531 fighting in this war. So he was actually fighting in the war and that's how he died um, in this fight um, for, the, for the Protestant Church. Uh, he was very important in Switzerland. He's not as well known, but he's very well known in Switzerland. In fact, in, in Zurich there is a statue of Ulrich Zwingli. Another group rejected not only the Mass, which is the Catholic Church service, and that's where they have all their sacraments and everything, the Lord's Supper and um, kind of like a typical Sunday service, but a little different in the Catholic side. So they rejected not only the Mass, but also the baptism of children. So in the Catholic Church, this still happens, but um, babies are actually baptized, little babies. They... Um, I guess the thinking is that it's going to um, save them. Now, we do not believe that. And this group also disagreed with the baptizing children. They agreed with only baptizing people after they were saved. So they were called the Anabaptists, kind of like the anti-baptists which is interesting because they still baptized but just not as children and that's why they were called anabaptists the anabaptists insisted on a voluntary church of believers and a radical pacifist christian lifestyle that means uh, like peaceful and not any kind of fighting they were severely persecuted one early leader menno simmons was the founder of the denomination we now call the Mennonites. Now, the Anabaptist is just a broad term describing people that would not, that did not believe in the baptism of infants. Now, there were lots of different beliefs within those that group. Um, so, uh, so it's a very broad term, and there were definitely some issues in that group as well. Uh, but the big thing that was that united them was that they did not believe in the baptism of infants. Um, 
So that's all for today. You can do the worksheet found in Schoology. It's not required. You don't need to turn it in. But I do encourage you to still keep up with the history. Um, this is a really, really important time, not just in church history, but in the world history. Uh, so much has changed thanks to the reformers. Um, so, so try to keep up with the history at least a little bit throughout the week. Okay, bye.